Hey everyone, it's Jason with Preston Street Market. And today I am here with a Goodwill blue box, uh, mystery box. Um, this one, as we can see, came from Dayton, Ohio, which, you know, as a lot of you know, is not the best place to get a box from. Um, however, I'm gonna remain hopeful. I have a love-hate with Goodwill blue box. Um, in the beginning, these boxes used to be good and now it's very hit or miss. Um, so we'll see what we uh, can find. Um, again, this one is from Dayton, Ohio. The better ones are usually from Florida or from New Jersey, but let's just hope and pray that this one has something, you know, fantastic for us. So um, if you would please like, subscribe, uh, follow me, um, leave feedback. I enjoy talking with you all. Um, uh, there is a link to my weekly auction as well as my eBay store in the description. And my email's there too. If anybody needs to contact me. So we will get right into it and hope that we got a good one. So first glance okay um it looks okay you know we'll, we'll 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 stay hopeful so let's see if i can just pull a little bit out at a time let's see what we can find in here tangled hot mess as usual all right all right, this is good enough to start with. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So I hope everybody's doing good. This has been a crazy week. Um, we've had a lot of orders for Mother's Day. Um, shipping has been crazy. Um, I had an auction last night. We went until 5 a.m. So it was a late night. I am exhausted. But I'm happy to be here to share this with you all, and let's get right into it. All right. So we have some sort of kind of pretty ring. The earring stuck to it. All right, so gold tone black earring. So this ring is nice, got a lot of nice rhinestones. It probably had, you know, a bracelet or something with it. Uh, obviously it's broken, but this will go into craft. Those uh, rhinestones can be uh, repurposed. So another uh, earring enamel. We've got a cuff bracelet here, white enameled uh, cuff, kind of worn. Um, yeah let's see we have some sort of gold tone earrings uh, okay another gold tone earring you know i don't think i've ever found gold in a blue box before back in the day i did um but in the last year or so absolutely not um, would be nice. Okay, you say something. You say... C-A... You say... What do you say? Okay, now... AX. It wants to look like Avon, but it's not. It's like AX. Oh, and not sure. I'm pretty sure it's not gold, but you know what? We'll test and make sure. All right. Tangled mess here. Let's see. Let's see. All right. So a really pretty silver filigree uh, necklace with some blue stones. Uh, marked on the back. What is that? Avon. Okay. So 
silver tone earring, very cheap, cheaply made piece. I'd like to get this wired type stuff out of the way. Let's see. All right, maybe we just unlatch it, come right out. What you think? All right, so we've got a silver tone. I don't see a marking on the closure. A silver tone necklace with a heart uh, pendant. It's nice. I don't see any markings on the pendant right away. Oh, there's something there. Let me see. Why do you say you say nothing or I can't make it out? I'll test this just to make sure um, and see the chain's definitely not uh, silver, but maybe the pendant is. All right. Earring mingled in a Okay, a little blue glass earring. This looks like a silver findings. It's like it could be sterling, maybe. Have to check, but yeah, uh, that's okay. Not for me, but that's okay. Okay. Got a um, earring, if you can see it signed there. What do we say? JCM 925. So it's a little sterling um, earring. I think an earring. All right. Nothing on the finding there. So a little silver tone necklace. Not bad. All right. A piece of something. Signed. What do you say, Avon? Yeah, we say Avon, a broken piece that'll go into craft. It's a choker. You know, these wire type pieces just always make it so much harder to get the jewelry untangled. Okay, so we have a, a enameled butterfly pendant with a, a adjustable choker. Okay, here's that wired uh, piece. Claire's, right? So that's a tag. Again, so this is craft. I hope everybody's also had really good sales this week and leading up to this week for Mother's Day. All right, some abalone pieces with a silver, silver tone sort of choker. That's nice, nice enough. Oh. All right, so we have alpaca silver with, it's like, um, I think that's actually, yeah, it's onyx. It's got a bad scratch there that'll have to go into craft, unfortunately. Uh, shell uh, bracelet with like a little green wannabe jade bead. Okay. All right. This is nice. Um, nice little closure on it. Um, gold tone. Um, looks like these are definitely, some of them are gems. These look like pearls, mother of pearl, maybe. Uh, very pretty. 
another silver tone uh, necklace. Let's see. Ooh. Nope, oh, too bad. That's still pretty. We'll see if we can find a match. Hmm. This box sure is loaded. I hope it's got something good waiting for us. All right. Silver tone necklace with black plastic um, beads. More shell. This looks like abalone and maybe pieces of Shiva Eye. I'm not sure. But there you go. More shell, 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 shell. Right, this is um, like an eyeglass thing, um, malachite colored, um, not not actual malachite, just made to look like it. Now these are pretty. Gold earrings, let's see here. Hmm. You know, th this is soft enough to where I might believe this could be gold. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Not seeing any markings, but we'll, you know, for my sanity, I'll set it aside. All right. Looks like it was an earring at one point. It's gotten bent up. This is good for craft. We've got, what do you say? Cool jewels. Cool jewels. Little pearl. Let's see. Faux pearl. Um. Faux pearl, that's prop likely an anklet. Yeah, an anklet. All right, some vintage white beads. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, that's gonna give me a sound match. Let's skip, all right. So a very gaudy blue uh, necklace. Mm. Crafting. Got a silver tone ring that says orchid, orchid, orchid. It's pretty. More shells. More shells. All right, this looks like a piece to that bracelet. Those rhinestones will be good to harvest. Repurpose. A ring. Okay. This is a pretty earring. Okay. And that's a pretty earring for sure. And that definitely looks like silver. Looks like it could be. have to test that as well just to make sure put it in scrap all right more silver tone A silver tone necklace with pendant little dichroic glass um, piece this looks like it's Definitely could be sterling. We'll have to test it and see. That's kind of nice on the back. Let's see if we can get another one. Okay. Another earring. Mm, more earrings. Let's see if we can find some mates. This is a uh, craft. Another earring that definitely looks like silver. 
open up the test and make sure if we don't find a mate, that'll be a good scrap piece. All right, let's get some more. The heat is definitely here in, in Texas. It is so hot. I was hoping we could go another month maybe with, you know, manageable, but I just don't think so. It's gonna be a hot one. Um, not looking forward to summertime, but I'm so glad that at least the cold is gone. I'm happy with low 70s, mid 70s where I could take a jacket on, I mean, put a jacket on or take it off depending on the weather. So the heat is here. Oh, goodness gracious. Can we get you? Can we get you? Yes, we can. All right. Um, this looks like some fashion pieces that'll go for craft, repurposing harvesting, however you want to call it. Put you back another picture. All right. So, of course, more shells. Lots of shells in this um, box. Ooh, you're pretty. Ooh, you're very pretty. Let's get you out. Big old tangled mess, yes. But I think you might be worth the trouble. All right, let's have a look at that. That's really pretty. All right. Kenneth J. Lane for Avon. Are we broke? No, we're not broke. So it'll hook in. All right. So clean that sucker up, and that's a good find. Um, KJL's Kenneth J. Lane, made for Avon. So clean this up a bit, and looks like the stones are there. That's a nice little piece, so I'm, I'm happy to find a little something good. Little parts and pieces. Oh, this looks like the piece that goes to that ring. Yep, definitely. So these rhinestones can be harvested and reused. A little leather type bracelet. Hoop earring, silver tone. Let's see. I like it when they put the jewelry in a bag, but this one's this Goodwill seems to not do that, so Right, sort of gunmetal, silver, oop. All right, have some patience and get this untangled. This is pretty and it's marked 925, CT 925. So at least we got a winner, one winner. So if you're on central time, like I am, you know, the Goodwill Blue Box site is very deceiving. Um, you know, they have a ticker countdown, you know, at the top of their website um, that'll count down to the um, restock. However, if you're on central time, that restock will actually happen at 5 p.m. Central Time. Even though the ticker still says there's an hour remaining for the restock, it promptly at 5 p.m. the restock will appear. And so you have to be on there right at 5 if you're Central, Central Standard Time, um, if you wanna try and snag one. So this looks like, I don't know, maybe Juicy Couture, not sure, but Okay. All right. Um, this is Sign New York and Company. Right. You see how dirty this jewelry is? That's so 
nasty to look at. Oy. All right, a silver tone chain. Um, I don't know. It it could possibly be silver. The closure is not indicating anything. I'll have to test and see. Let's see if I can get this unmatted. I wish there was an easy way to do this. So we had a crazy auction last night. We didn't get fully finished and charged everybody out and made sure everybody's piles were ready for them to come and pick up for their Mother's Day goodies. So I am exhausted. And then of course I had to work today. I had a big estate come in with probably very easily 500 smalls and very good stuff. Um, not a lot of jewelry, some watches and, and, and things, but um, a lot of um, Murano, a lot of McCoy. They had a huge McCoy collection. So um, I'll be working on that a little bit. So this is just a tangled mess. So this, we'll just take a peek. This looks definitely like it's silver. And this is definitely silver. And you can see here that uh, we have some some indications there of sterling. So um, I'm going to work on untangling this and then I'll try to remember and show at the end, um, you know, the pieces untangled. So let's keep going. The link to my um, weekly auction is, excuse me, down below in the description. Pardon me. So earring. It's a broken piece, a wire earring. It's a generic acrylic cuff. All right, a blue enameled um, necklace. No maker. We have pretty orange um, bib style necklace. That's kind of pretty. Chain. This is a pretty vintage um, earring missing a stone. We'll see if I can find the match. Another earring. Another earring. Have a silver tone bangle. Gosh, this jewelry is filthy. All right. Got a little more. I'm so far still on the fence with blue box. I'm happy that we found a little bit of sterling, but it's going to take more than that. Ooh, it's going to take more than that to redeem it for me at least. Um, so let's go. I saw it pretty. Let's just dig it out. <laughs> that is stunning. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that AB. This has a jewelry finding little hook stuck to it. Ooh, this is beautiful. That's very, very nice. It says patent. Maybe it does not. Yep, yeah, patent. It says patent information. Beautiful AB. I mean, just beautiful. Don't even look scratched. How pretty. That's a keeper for sure. All right. Uh, handmade necklace here. Some kind of seeds. All right. Pretty uh, faux mother of pearl bracelet. Looks like it's missing some inserts. Gotta go into crafting. Got some earrings here. Well, I'm not quite sure how this is supposed to go, but we'll just go with that. 
right, these look handmade uh, plastic beads. We have a charm, um, a little charm pendant with a gold tone bangle. Oh, it's signed. Can you all see that? What do you say? Bab, B-A-B, 12 karat gold filled. So it's like an initial bracelet with a nice, and this is presumably gold filled also. Okay. Uh, nice, missing some stones. Uh, very crude, worn piece. We have tennis bracelet, gold tone, stones. Let's see, are we gonna be silver? It's like just gold tone. I, I don't think it's silver or gold. Uh, real silver or gold, gold tone. Very, very dirty jewelry. I'll clean this up and look at it a bit closer and see if I can that looks like it says 925, but I'll look closer, clean that up a bit, and um, see if, you know, see if we got anything special. And it would sure be nice um, to find something like that. So let's keep going. All right, another uh, craft set of craft earrings. Let's get you out of there. Okay. Silver and purple necklace. Some vintage blue beads. Oy, Mardi Gras beads. Silver tone bracelet. Uh, bangle, not in the best condition. I, I think these kind of fabric-y cloth, whatever, earrings are just gross. Right, a little floral ring, I mean earring. This is nice, vintage, um, reticulated uh, bracelet, bangle. It's a little worn. Clears. All right, probably clears again. Uh, Disney. Disney, all right. So it looks like a Disney uh, charm uh, necklace. Stamp Disney, so somebody might like that. All right. Sort of boho necklace, kind of pretty actually. Chico's, you know, Chico's has some nice jewelry. My customers won't really buy it, but I think it's some of it's quite nice. That's very pretty. Um, so, sign Chico's. Um, blue bracelet. Have a inlaid. Earring, brass tone, pretty. All right, a dangly bracelet. I don't understand that dangle at all, but whatever. Lacy type, ooh, that's trash. All right, so I think we've got the match here. Yep, we do. So we've got a matching set of silver tone hoops. So we've got some shell, shell, marble, handmade bracelet. It's actually kind of nice. Um, not nice enough for my auction, but nice compared to other things I've received in a blue box. I would love to hear everybody's best find, if you're willing to share. I love to watch and see what people get and um, 
you know, compared to what I find. And um, always wish people good luck when they get these boxes. All right, this is just a tangled mess. Uh, it's a tangled mess for craft. Let's see. All right, um, graduated silver and gold tone uh, pendant, unmarked. Oh, no, that's pretty. Tibetan style. Oh, it's marked with a V. Now, that's actually quite nice. You know, it's probably, well, the stones are probably faux. It's definitely not sterling, but it's nice nonetheless. Somebody might like that. We'll see. This jewelry is dirty, dirty. All right, bracelet. Ooh, this is pretty. I think they call this snowflake jasper, if my memory is serving me right. Looks like the shepherd's hook is broken. Um, I don't think it's actual jasper, just made to look like the snowflake jasper. So that'll go into craft. Another shell necklace. I have some parts and pieces here. That's pretty. The rhinestone earring. Let's get this mess out of the way. Oily hair, that's so gross. An earring. Another earring. Let's get that out of the way. Look, look. Yucky, yucky. All right. So, silver tone, pearl. All right, let's go ahead and just get the rest out. Do I dare? Do I dare? All right, let's see what we're going to find. Hmm. Now, you know what that looks like, don't you? What does this say? Jennifer Lopez. Okay, Jennifer Lopez. So it's not ivory, but it definitely has that kind of feel but Mark J. Lo, so we'll see. I don't know, somebody may like that. It's not for me, but I, I might run it through auction. Put it on eBay. All right. Okay. So a nice, chunky, beaded, um, necklace. I like that closure. All right. Sad, sad plastic uh, necklace. It's cute though. Somebody like it for craft. Another lace piece. Look how silly. <laughs> All right. That's a pretty earring. All right. We have a gold tone bangle. All right, so here's the mate. What did I do with you? Come back, come back. There you are. So we have a pair of these and they are very soft, you know, the way gold is. Um, and appear to be very well made. So I'm gonna have to uh, really look these over and test them and see if maybe we struck gold. Wouldn't that be nice? with my keep pile. Oy, feathered jewelry. I am not a fan. All right, this looks like another piece to something that we had out earlier. Nice gold tone, chunky earring. Four single earrings. Uh, Coldwell Banker. Always check these guys because sometimes uh, you can get lucky. I have found these that are solid gold. All right, you say something. Rich Lou, how do we say Rich Lau? Faux pearl earring, okay. Uh, uh, pretty earring, leather bracelets. 
Come on, did we save a treasure for the end? All right, Premier Design. Eh. Okay. No easy way to do this other than just doing it. All right, more eyeglass um, uh, holders. A gold tone uh, bracelet. More feathery pieces. That's to me just gross. Oh, another unicorn. Look how silly. <laughs> I'm going to craft faux pearls. That's pretty. Black Onyx 925. Wonder if we can find the mate to that. That'd be nice. Bead. All right. This is badly oxidized. I'm just going to throw that out. Get this trash out of the way. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Are we going to close with something fantastic? It's not looking good. Let's just unhook this and this out. All right, so these are just um, turquoise colored um, beads. Nothing crazy special. earring with some gold hearts and pearls don't think we have gold that's nice let's see let's see let's see gotcha all right we've got a long gold tone necklace what do we say? Premier Design. So a long kind of gold tone necklace. And last, looks like last, but not least. Are these two separate pieces? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. It's just a tangled mess. So there we go. Another earring with no mate and a single uh, gold tone piece there. So, all right, there we have it. That's a Goodwill blue box for you. You know, overall disappointing, but hey, you never know. I'm going to test those earrings um, to see if they, in fact, are gold. Um, I think we did good with this Kenneth J. Lane um, for Avon. Um, necklace once it's cleaned it'll be nice we have this j-lo um piece we what else did we save oh yeah and we saved this pretty um pretty you know silver tone looking piece oh and then our aurora borealis beautiful peacock ab clips And oh, we have our little Disney, little Disney necklace there, Disney initial necklace, and then our mystery earrings. We'll see. If they turn out to be gold, then woohoo! Good job, Blue Box. If they don't, then I just have proven myself right. So. There we have it guys. This is our, I think what we're able to salvage this, uh, also this um, gold filled piece. You know, gold filled to me, I just save it until I get a big lot. Um, it's nice enough. Um, so I think these things will be either in an auction or 
um, on, on eBay. Um, everything else will be, you know, craft. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Um, I, I just love these. Um, I, I think I forgot to mention the box was $49.99 plus, uh, tax, I think. So I think I'll in about, you know, 55 to $58 for everything. So we might can scratch our money back. Uh, we might not. We, we, I, I never know. Um, this could go for a lot or it could go for hardly anything. Uh, if these do in fact turn out to be gold, then, you know, that will definitely pay for my box. But anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Um, I want to show the reality of, of a blue box. You know, sometimes it's trash, sometimes it's treasure. And more often than not, it's going to be trash. Um, but don't stop because you could find that one great piece that, um, you know, that sets you, um, sets you up. Oh, I forgot about this. So we do have some sterling necklaces here that I'm going to have to untangle and I'll try to, um, follow back up with you all. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Please like subscribe, follow, send me messages. I love hearing from you guys. It makes my day when I get a comment. Um, so anyhow, I will see you all soon. Thank you.